M0FXB, welcome back to the channel. Many people have messaged me about the new Kenwood TMD750 and now the ICOM IC5200. So if you look here, I've got my handhelds. One is the Kenwood and one is the ICOM 52. Okay, uh, so they are different. And the differences that we're going to talk about regarding these two mobile sets, I would say are very similar. The one disappointing thing I think from Kenwood is that the 750 doesn't do all the HF receive, which you can get on the very, very good THD 75. Now, ICOM have been due to release or upgrade. It's, I don't know if upgrade's the right word, but add a color screen to the ICOM ID 5 100 for years, I would say. Uh, and really the 7 I've got here, the 7 100, which is the shack in the box. And this will be a welcome set. It will definitely be one of the, the best sellers. Now, I find with Kenwood, because it's such an excellent device, you'll find that people um, that are looking for the best, best, best quality radio out there go for Kenwood. Maybe that's just me saying that. But it's a bit like instead of buying a Ford, you buy a BMW. But that's my personal opinion. So Kenwood's up there. Both these radios will do D-Star. The ICOM call it um, DR mode, and it's packaged, you know, pretty much the same as the Kenwood, which does do DR mode. The At the moment, we use DPRS rather than APRS with, uh, with the ICOMs. With the TM750, it's full TNC, APRS via Bluetooth. Both these sets will have Bluetooth Wi-Fi. You can see the, the emblems that are shown there. The 5200 is going to be touchscreen, uh, so very similar in use to the ICOM 705 when you're when you're using it in the VHF UHF mode. Now I'm not seeing 220 megs, and I would say to ICOM, chuck in 220 megs because this is still a prototype. The Kenwood does have 220 megs, you know, for USA. Um, what they've done is they've configured the Wi-Fi, so it's almost like a built-in hotspot. And I'm, I'm Looking forward to testing that and how they've done that. Otherwise, you can use a repeater. And I mean, there's so many different sets now that you can connect via terminal mode to get on. And you say, well, why, why bother with a hotspot? You know, that's not real radio. It's because when you connect to your repeater, I feel it's very limiting. And there's other people that want to use the repeater uh, doing D star. And so having a hotspot and I have several here and I would I would say don't get one hotspot, get three you know, DMR, D-Star Fusion. And uh, it just opens up the world to you. And then when you say it's not real radio, well, repeater keepers are using the same thing. They're just connecting it to their computer on the, where their repeater is sighted on a hill. Yours is just on your table, but it does the same job. The distance between you and the, ra <laughs> the radio and the hotspot is shorter, but it's, it's still radio uh, and great fun. And one of the best things I ever did was get a hotspot. So what do you think? I mean, with the design, they're very similar and uh, they have independent controls. You've got a front mounting mounted speaker with the Kenwood, lots of buttons to press. Press. I'm not seeing touchscreen unless, unless I'm wrong. Correct me. Uh, with the 5200 and other icons, they are very touchscreen menu driven, but they're very intuitive. You know, you tap the mode, it changes the mode. You tap the frequency, it changes the frequency. It's, it's very intuitive. If you've ever used the even the 7300 and you've heard about the 7300 Mark II, which I think is it's good what they've done. They've it's it looks the same. They've improved. I would say they've improved the hardware to get the best out of it, reduce the heat. They've added the thing that everyone asked for, the 7300 and added the external thing which is what they should have put in there anyway but i mean the demand's higher now so i'd like to get your feedback on this because the price you know what's the price going to be i would say that the 5100 is going to be a thousand quid yeah oh, sorry the 5200 and the dm750 you know i would say it's going to be 200 quid more than the icon one because it, it it's it's i just feel like it will be I think they're both beautiful, fantastic radios. Very hard to choose between because I would want it to do APRS and proper yeah, proper APRS and a TNC via Bluetooth. And uh, because that opens up so many other possibilities. I'm seeing GPS logos on both 
radios here they're going to look beautiful with their gps both so it's really really hard to choose i'm I, I, you know you get people saying i'm an icon guy i'm a yesu guy but really i'm just a good radio guy you know if i like something i want to buy it and use it um i'm not really you know i just go by and i'd love to use both of these so you let me know but you know the i would say the 5200 is probably a year away that's my guess the 7300 mark ii is here by christmas the tm750 isn't that available any day any day now i'd like to see the price i know that people are taking deposits thanks for watching my channel uh there are some videos on there moonraker i've done some really good snapshot videos Oh, it's Moonraker UK of this when they went to the Tokyo Hand Fair. There are videos and this, you know, this icon is out there working and, and it's a prototype, but it's working. It actually says D Star on the front there. Uh, so interesting. So thanks for watching my channel. And if you know more than me, let me know. I'm always learning with you. Bye for now, 7 3.